Victoria and I are with Venus and I are. Venus's thing yesterday was, look, Bill, I think he's a player. So this was clearly a late night conversation between Tato and Yuli, and they were talking about the relationships. But this statement about BU got me thinking. Now let's go back to the conversation Venice and Acacia had earlier. Like, I, also I thought you had more than one crush. I didn't know that it was just him that you were focusing on. For a second, I just think, um, I want to validate Acacia's feeling, because, you know, literally, I kind of went through my archives and I found this video. Guys, pay attention to this video. Maybe you might have an idea of why Acacia is feeling the way she's feeling. Venus is my crush. She's very calm. Uh, my second crush is Terry. I feel like you're my spirit animal. My last crush is Boo. So guys, according to this video, it's very glaring that Akeja made her stand very known in the house. Guys, literally, I have a lot to say about this. But before we go into this conversation, if you're new to the channel, guys, consider subscribing right now to be a part of this community. And of course, to help the channel grow, um, click on the notification bell so you always get the last of my video every time I share new content. So if you like reality shows, of course, and if you like analysis and reviews on the show, I kind of go deeper into this um, Big Brother show. I just don't give you updates, but I, I try to look at the show critically and just talk from different directions and bring out the personalities that are really, you know, showing themselves in the show. So literally, um, guys, earlier we saw Venice and Acacia try to settle their squabble. Like, uh, Venice actually approached Acacia, Acacia and she was like, you know what, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were really into BU, um, this is my bad, but I'm really sorry this has happened and this, you feel this type of way. Uh, maybe it was because I, on the, you know, I, I didn't really take note of how you felt so she, she kind of apologized and there's something about Acacia I would not like there's something very annoying about Acacia the moment you're apologizing to her that's when she wants to tell you all the things she wants to tell that's when she wants to bring out she wants to still highlight on what is actually getting her angry in fact I saw that attitude with Norman when and they had the food quarrel Norman actually went to bed to Acacia's bed to apologize and she still was raising the thing she couldn't even just take a simple apology so basically we know Acacia is just like that right um, and for a lot of reasons Acacia has been under the knife but guys she said she only has a crush like okay she, she was asked it was like a general thing guys you know they talk about all these things in their you know when they want to play those their funny games and they asked Acacia specifically who her crush is and guys, the first person she mentioned as her crush in the house was Venice. It was quite surprising for me to hear that. And, you know, she was like, she likes um, Venice's kind of person, that she has a great personality, she's calm, she's not the wada 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 person, kind of taka 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 person, that she's more calm and calculated, and that's why she likes Venice. That Venice is a crush. Like, literally, it means if Akeja was a guy, or if Akeja was, like, a bisexual, she would literally be okay with being with Venice, because Venice is her type of woman, right? And then she said her second crush was Terry, guys. It was Terry. Terry. So she says she likes Terry. Terry has this feminine and you know feminine thing but still strong like she has this girl power in her that makes her look like an amazing person and you know she literally would love to see terry in like magazine covers like she just literally just gave kudos a big hype she played a big hype on venice and terry because she was like she really loves her, her personalities and then guys in that same moment she shared that the last cross she had in the house was BU. So she said, Boo is like my crush. She said it openly. Everybody heard it. I mean, it was cool to know that part about her. She was being very honest. And, you know, like everybody took it like, okay, we're having a conversation and she had just spilled this thing. So, like, literally, I think maybe everybody underplayed what she said. But for me, you know, looking at the way she has been reacting to all the things that has been happening, I literally had to go back to that video to understand what her temperaments were all about and to understand why she was actually feeling this bad, you know, for days, feeling very, like, drained psychologically, mentally, and all that. And, guys, literally, this video kind of summed it up. I was like, okay, now I understand why baby girl is feeling bad. And seriously, if I were her, I would feel that same kind of way. And, you know, literally what made me kind of want to do this video is because I felt like if Akeja actually um, says she has a crush on you, like, I mean, the worst thing to do is just to play around 
um like having a gossip gossip about her like i did i didn't really like that gossip was like was like <laughs> it was like oh my god was it really necessary like seriously i felt like if akija had really openly said these things to these ladies they would have kind of tried to i know they tried they've been trying i know venice has been trying to you know make up with akija but i just felt like you know whipping her like that like saying you know she has gotten three strikes from the guys you know even with her showing off and everything she's nobody's choice i mean i think it's kind of hurtful for my ears i don't know but i'm not an acacia fan i'm not a fan of any of the housemates i'm not gonna lie i just have to i try to keep a straight face so it doesn't affect my analysis whenever i have to say something about them and basically i i kind of i, I was really turned off when i heard venice and you know terry like talk about acacia that way i was like no 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 this is like not so cool i mean acacia is very very outspoken but we know that she's not gonna go and fight venice for being with you like physically and we know that part about it but anyways the conversation around this acacia eh, it's really long and lengthy i'm not even going to lie but really it kind of ticks me off it kind of ticks me off really 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 hard you know hearing terry and venice talk about it and then guys looking at terry's guy vinyl and looking at venice's guy be you i'm like um i think akisha needs to learn a lot of emotional intelligence um i think it will really help her because she lacks completely lacks it like she lacks it and that's what makes her look like a very ugly person and you know i just feel like she just has a crush on one person and just just this one person is not working and then she doesn't want to look around so it kind of, it's kind of boring her game and she's i think that's why i understand where sister Mary is coming from you have a crush on this person he doesn't want to have anything to do with you and instead of you to mingle and jingle with every other person you're just there in your feelings and i'm like girlfriend can you wake up already but literally that flogging was was loud especially from terry so it looks like terry and venice are kind of protecting their boundary they don't want anything that's going to come in between them and their man and but i like the way that venice is going about it because bu is a flesh we all know that i mean even right now she's still i mean bu is still vibing with yoli you know we know there's nothing going on there i mean i wish akeja could learn that maturity like if she could have it then maybe to help her and then me in my own way i'm like okay if this lady saying she likes your personality she's not that kind of person why don't you guys teach her how to be your kind of person because literally saying i have a crush on you means like i see you like an open person so basically I, i'm not gonna lie i i think i was really disgusted with that conversation terry and venice were having because i was like i beg it's so unnecessary you don't need to really make that babe look like nobody wants i mean she's a hot babe you guys occasionally is a hot babe whether you guys like it or not i think her vibe is still cool um yeah she's a bit toxic she's just playing the dinky game it's her personality I mean, we can't apologize for her person. She's just who she is. She's just Akeja. <laughs> just like Dinky was Dinky. Um, guys, well, I don't know for eviction nomination. I don't know if Akeja survives this eviction. I'm going to be super happy because I feel like she's a person. Um, she and Four are giving the house a different vibe that I kind of like because if everybody's Nali, if everybody's Venus in the house, I mean, that house would be very boring. So I think I like the Akeja vibe. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. And I think this ladies can do better can connect with her better can just um i don't know but the house is not doing enough i mean they already know she has a flaw as a person i just feel like the best way we can they can move forward is to just accommodate her and tolerate her nonsense <laughs> just for the sake of peace guys i don't know if i even made any sense in this video because i literally needed to talk about it um yes venice and acacia they're still at it i don't know if acacia is going to let go be happier you know mingle but whatever it's just like that relationship is weird that triangle is so weird and we don't we can't really explain why akeja is really mad but we understand that those three people she mentioned and you know in this video i just shared she kind of has some kind of respect she likes their personality and maybe i feel that's why she feels like super hurt <laughs> and guys i'm not gonna lie when we look at akeja i don't know but there's this conversation like i've been you know i've been kind of dicing out all the conversation that um gashwan and yuli had one of their midnight conversations and somebody says pumpkin wants vinyl and i'm like who is pumpkin like pumpkin pumpkin wants the new boy now hey but pumpkin better watch yourself because terry will come and yay i have completely forgotten who has that nickname i mean if you know who pumpkin is please let me know in the comment section so i'm literally looking at it like gash one and yuli were like you know they're expecting to see a fight in the house and that if this fight comes it's going to be loud and they really want to see that fight and they're like i mean terry and pumpkin so i'm, I'm wondering is acacia the pumpkin <laughs> 
please who is pumpkin like i really i literally can't remember who has that new play but i'm still gonna do my investigations when i find that i'll come back here and tell you what's up with it but let me know what your thoughts are on this thing that is going on this circle this conversation this arguments this gossip let me know what your thoughts are <laughs> guys this is literally what i'm gonna call it um, um i'm just gonna end it here right um we have a lot more to talk about i'm gonna be back here with more reviews don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and of course share your comments on what you think about what i shared so far who is pumpkin i literally want to know because i can't wait for them to redo these basketballs you know but i know it's not gonna happen like that more you know <laughs> we never can tell if your man can cause this kind of beef occasion then it sounds i mean much more we're expecting much more from the show. <laughs>